So let's have a discussion on gamma decay. Now basically what happens is the nucleus itself has a ground state. It has a ground state. Ground state and an excited state. And an excited state. Now say, suppose during the process of alpha decay or beta decay, we often find that the nucleus that is present, the daughter nuclei, this is the daughter nuclei that is formed after uh, alpha or beta decay, the daughter nuclei is in a excited state, excited state so that it has high energy because of this alpha or beta decay, it has gained energy. So it wants to go back to its ground state. And the difference between the excited state and the ground state is very large. So sometimes what happens is that this straight away comes to the ground state by releasing high amount of energy. And this energy is in the in amount of MeV. Now what is MeV? Now MeV is a measure of electrical or you can say measure of energy that is electron volt MeV. So 1 MeV is equal to 10 to the power 6 electron volt. So now you can make an idea as to how much energy will this release. So either it comes direct to this point releasing a photon of the order of MeV or it can come down from the excited state to the ground step in successive stages which occurs spontaneously. Now they will, it might have some stages and it will occur successively and spontaneously. So when this type of reaction takes place, we see that there is a release of high release of energy. Let's say this is the high release of energy. So because of this high release of energy, we can call all of this process where the daughter nuclei from its excited states comes down to its ground states by releasing a photon, a single photon of this much energy or say perhaps by releasing successive photons. Maybe let's take the two cases. Maybe a single photon of high energy or successive photon successive photons so these are the two possibilities that takes place and this whole process is known as your gamma decay gamma decay 